The following contains scenes of subpar gameplay. Viewer discretion is advised. His son is in Central Park for some reason, even though he's like four, he just took off on his own. Oh, and I think his, his ex-wife's here too, that's why they're here. And Evil Eve is here, that's why there's a big snake. So much for this being a comedy show, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Chris Manny Play. We're playing Parasite Eve. Um, so I was going to talk about um, how Xbox kind of changed some of the things on uh, on the future future consoles and like how we how we dealt with things. And um, I was brought into this sort of point of uh, of reference based on um, Andy's dog tag collection in, in Metal Gear Solid Two, and um, I think this is one of the the things that both was really good about the Xbox 360 and really bad about the Xbox 360, and, and I'm going to go with achievements. Mm, I, I kind of figure that's where you're going. Yeah, because the thing about achievements was it gave a reason to want to replay games, which was phenomenal, especially for developers, you know, that want little, you know, adding a little bit extra time to the length of a, of a large developed title. Because, you know, you spend a lot of time and money, you want people to be invested in it, and don't feel like, you know, oh, this game that I spent $70 on is only, you know, six hours long, so you can spend more time in it. That's cool. The, the problem I found, like, the biggest issue with achievements is that a lot of them ended up turning into fetch quests, which are, like, gaming's worst possible freaking thing that they ever came up with was, go get me more of this shit that nobody needs, and it doesn't involve, like, it doesn't make the game any fun doesn't do any added replay or anything it's just like my biggest gripe with assassin's creed is that the game is already repetitive as hell and you end up spending even more time looking for things that glitch out and you can't find them like i they're probably pretty short too like i i've never beat one honestly just because i i got bored but i, I imagine they're pretty short if you don't spend time looking for like the thousand different collectible items well um I spent hours in the first Assassin's Creed looking for one flag that glitches out, and I, uh, it's not there. I can't find it. I can't get the... The only way for me to get this achievement is to start the game over again and find all the flags a second time. Because I went through the same map looking for, for this one flag to spawn, and I went through every spawn point based on a map that somebody had put together. And like this is like the amount of effort people are going into for this doesn't mean anything doesn't really make the game more fun if anything it makes it more repetitive and less fun you know i've never been to new york so yeah. i don't know what central park is like but i i imagine there aren't a lot of crates just full of bullets <laughs> in the Bullet. middle of in the middle of a path i don't, I don't know man. this is a pa pa a, a paved walkway and there's just a box full of bullets, bullets. i mean it's convenient but yeah. i don't know why someone would do that i don't Continue. know either um <laughs> Yeah, so like achievements. I, just, I wanted to say something this episode. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, go for it. I mean, we got lots of time. You, yeah. We're gonna play this game forever, guys. Uh, forever. I'm gonna put some awesome echo on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is so, our opus. See, I like a. <laughs> this is our opus. <laughs> yes, Paris ID one. Achievements. They. They made everybody want them. I don't know. Like, it's this weird thing that, like, uh, at one point, like, I was a big achievement hound. Like, I needed every achievement just to be better than my friends who were also on Xbox and doing the same thing, like renting Avatar and beating somebody with a stick for 15 minutes to get a thousand points that mean nothing. I rented the game for $5 just to do that. That's the only reason I rented it. I didn't play any more than that. I played until the buttons were hit. And that was done. You just go in a circle? Yeah, sure. I, I, I really haven't watched the game at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need a key, but like I haven't. Oh. I can't find it. Well, there's One Direction I didn't go in. One Direction. Oh, I wish I knew a One Direction song, because that'd be a good time to just start singing it. Yeah, and it's gotten like. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I yeah. don't know any of the One Direction songs either, I'm sorry. No, it's, that's not a bad thing. So uh, well, it's nothing you need to apologize for. I guess at my age, it's probably not a bad thing. If I was 13, I probably should know some. I know that so we can sing like some Backstreet Boys song, but it doesn't really fit. Backstreet, they, they don't have a song that. Back, all right. Do they have a song that contains the words Be One Direction? <laughs> no? No? All right, fine. Nah, I, don't I really thought know. we were gonna get. We we started it. You, st you started. I started. It. You started. It. You insisted that I do so. Just keep talking. I didn't insist. <laughs> I asked. I, like, 
I said, we could do this, maybe. And you're like, oh, we're doing it. That's not what I heard. I That's heard, the plan for you today. You better start singing Backstreet Boys or I'm going to beat your leg with a cane. <laughs> I want to get away from this thing. Okay. I'm going to heal. Uh, achievements and other things. I don't, I don't know. Achievements back. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, achievements like he's so got, just there. It's just just there for bragging rights. Like, hey, how much time did you waste playing this, doing this task in a game that you would not otherwise do? I wasted this much. Yeah. Well, there was. It, it gets to the point where like, after you have enough achievements. You're like, I don't need any more. I'll just play the game how I wanted to. So it lost its val it, like its value to replay games. And I think that comes with the fact that like a lot of achievements are just making you redo shit you didn't want to do in the first place. Just get a number that doesn't mean anything and do doesn't do anything. The, the other thing about achievements was that uh, it gets to a point where like, yeah, maybe you did play Avatar to get that extra thousand gold. So you're up a little bit above somebody else. Gold? Call it gold. Oh, uh, whatever. They're called G. What G points? G but the gamer score. Points, yeah, whatever they gamer are. Gamer points. Whatever. Game points. Gold points. Gum points. Dumb points. Points. Gimp, points. Gimp points. Points. Gimp points. Get the points. I need the points. It's funny, Give like, me more points. Okay. Points were like such a thing in like old games, right? It was all oh, about yeah. points and scores, and like now that's not in there, and people like nobody cares about points anymore, unless it's like you're playing a new arcade game and it's just like oh I'm playing uh, what's it called like Geometry Wars points yeah. but now like achievements are like the new points yeah they totally are it's, it's, it, they just not they don't call them points anymore well, but that's what it's all about you get leaderboards and the, the high score lists you know yeah. and uh, and it brings it back to the core of gaming which is awesome it's just like some of these these things you get like you get them specifically to woman up your friends or whatever and then you feel guilty about it later you're like that was a bad cheeseburger I shouldn't have that I, sh I shouldn't have played TMNT on Xbox 360 <laughs> just so I could get an extra thousand points, but now it's on my gamer score forever, and I can never take that back. Dude, I, I remember back when we lived together, there were games like what you were just talking about, like Avatar. Like, yeah, okay, we, we would read stuff specifically to get more points out of it. We won k Well, I mean, I, I think I did most of this, but um, the Lego Star Wars? Yep, that was mostly you. At World's End? Yeah, I no, no, I, I, I played that. Well, I... No... I remember playing that. Dude, uh, there was one achievement that required you to stay in this one area and kill, like, 300 enemies or something because well, they spawn instantly. You I may played done, that. You no. may have done, like, most of the game. I remember playing it. It was terrible. I think I did most of it. Uh, I know you played Aragon, and we did some of that co-op. Aragon was actually fun, though. Oh, it, yeah. Well, you know, it was co-op, so everything was fun. But oh, and I played uh, Samurai Warriors. I won uh, Kate Samurai Warriors. Prince Caspian? That was the... Uh, you did that. I so. did that. Oh, God, was that a horrible game. Oh, that game is so broken. <laughs> don't play it. We're not going to play it again. I don't think anybody did, so you don't have to oh worry. Just God. you. Just you. Where's the key, man? I don't know. There's a phone safe. Uh, yeah, I should, actually. But I seriously, I went in a big circle. There's no... I didn't find no key. All right. Unless it's in this building and I didn't look hard enough. All right, find a conversation to talk about. I checked this course. Uh, I I had my whole body waxed one yeah. time. And then, you totally uh, did too. I did, because just, I don't like body hair. I'm not, I'm not even hairy, really. No, like, the, Andy's not a hairy individual. I kind of have hairy legs, which is weird, but, like, nothing else is hairy. Um, I need to know who's got hairier legs. Let's find oh, out. Oh, I totally do. Yeah. Or, it, it might, oh, it, well, you know what? Yeah, I, I think it's just because mine's darker. I don't know that you have hairier legs. Yeah, yeah, you have darker. But also, mm. like, my legs are larger, so, I mean, the hair's a little bit more spread apart. Mm. All right. Um, actually, I should leave that up. It was nice and cool, but I don't want to. Uh, yeah, but I want to watch your legs. But anyway, that was super painful. I, like... So when I say whole body, I mean like I got Brazilian too, and uh, oh, that, I know I'm, you got to tell them about this story. I will, I will, but I'm gonna. I don't want to get like okay. So I, I got that done. Five minutes. Full whole body, done one time, and then yeah. the second time I just got from like my waist down. So like oh, and my and my armpits. Uh, having your armpits hair free, super comfortable. I wouldn't want to shave it because I don't like the prickly feeling of hair growing back. But like getting it waxed and just being hair free, man, it's so comfortable. Um, so anyway, I got the Brazilian and like you. They they have to put you in some like provocative positions in order to like very easily access that. But um, that was the second time. The second time I got into the position where I'm on my back, basically with my legs spread, and I have my hands on like my hamstrings, just spreading them apart so they can get in there. But the sec the first time I was the, just the reason why he paused there was so he could show me specifically the <laughs> position that he was in. 
Interesting. The uh, the second, the first time though, I was on my stomach, right, and I just, I was just lying there on my stomach, and I had to spread my axe, my, my ass cheeks open. I have a feeling I'm supposed to go on this door, but it won't open, so I'm probably wrong. Uh, so my ass cheeks spread, right, and uh, I had to fart the whole time. <laughs> but like, they tell you to re- relax because, like, I guess I was tense and trying to hold in this fart. So like, uh, you know, my sphincter was like, eh, like tight. And then, like, wax was getting in the grooves. So, like, you gotta relax, or, like, so we can get the wax out. Because if it hardens in there, then it's gonna be really hard to get out. Okay. Um, so I, I had to kind of relax my ass. So there was no muscle holding in that fart. It was just willpower. Yeah. It was, it was power. And, um, <laughs> in case for some reason you just couldn't figure this out on my own, mm. or, sorry, on your own. Yes. Oh, my God. The most painful thing I've ever experienced, by far, is having my taint waxed. I mean, oh, I, <laughs> I, like, like I've get, never been there. Getting the 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 the, the scrotum and then the dick itself, getting them waxed, pretty pretty painful. And also the little like where the dick turns into the rest of your body, that little like corner, I guess, that's really painful too for some reason. But huh. like the taint itself, oh, oh my goodness, that was. <laughs> but uh, I did it twice, so it could have been that bad. Or I just like. I can take a lot of pain, but holy Jesus Christ, that was so painful. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'd do it again. I'd yeah. do it again, because it's totally worth it. Dude, it stays oh. hair-free, like completely hair-free for like a month. And then when it starts growing back, it grows back so slow. But it's not like when you shave where it grows back all like prickly. It grew back yeah. like not like it yeah, wasn't like... because they'd be the fine new hairs. Yeah, they're you know? all like, new hairs. Yeah, and that's... like, man, it's, it's really nice. I wish if, if I could afford it, I would just, I would get it done like every month. Well, <laughs> eventually... Just, it would just start growing back a little bit less. Yeah, totally. I mean, like, it's, man, it's just so comfortable, but it's really not worth shaving. So, I don't know, if you're one of those people who shave, like, all the time, like, that's, you got, that's commitment. That's a level of commitment that well, I just th- could not there, have. There was a time where I did shave for a while, and, uh... Like what? Like, specifically, like, junk? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, okay, Do you do, so like, armpits? You ever do, like, armpits? No, I've never done my armpits. I, I did actually trim my armpits for a little bit, uh, but then, yeah, you get in the same issue with the prick- prickly hair, so, like... Mm-hmm. Well, what you could do too, if you get like crickly, clippers, crickly are, yeah. clippers like a buzzer thing, you can do it like so short that like it's not really. I don't think I'd want like a buzz cut underneath my arms. It'd be less hair, it would be comfortable, and it wouldn't grow back all prickly. Yeah. I've done that for my junk too. Like you get like, how did I? Oh, now I can't even pick it up. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> like I got all this junk. I don't know what this you does. Use a medicine or something. But I know there's an. I'm at like full health. I know there's no, an you're option. Not. You're 118, 128. I'm not going to waste the medicine for five health. I'm just going to throw away this junk. I know it's for something, because there's a way to discard it. But So I guess I give you something, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, every time you level uh, up... Is it, it like, for, like, tool parts or something? Oh, yeah, maybe is it? Oh, I think, yeah, I think that's how you, like, upgrade stuff. Well, they give you... You can find tools, but maybe they make tools out yeah, of Yeah, I junk? think you, you take that back to the dude, and he's like, Oh, I got scrap pieces, I can make this stuff. Yeah, well, whatever. But, yeah, so, like, um, my... I don't mind Bonnie here. Like, too much. Um, you know, okay, well, I'm sorry. I just, I, I, go ahead. I have to interrupt. I, uh, I don't mind it because it's just like, uh, I don't have like oh, so much of it that it's just irritating all the time. Oh, yeah. I just I just don't like the look of it. No, no like, I, I don't mind it in, like, in a lot of cases. Yeah. Like, I'm also not the most hairiest of individuals. I also, you know, really like, because the, there are some men that are like, wow, you are actually a bear. <laughs> like, Robin not, Williams or... not, not like a gay bear. <laughs> like, you are legitimately... Mostly hair. You're a very poorly shaved ape. Yes. Yeah. Like <laughs> evolution was not kind to you. Uh, so, uh, so there's that. But like, I, don't, I just don't have so much. There's a couple areas that I'm like, I got that little bit of back hair just above my bum. Hey. You, you know what I'm talking about? Man. Like sometimes you just get like that. So the, there are like two, two areas of hair on me that I would, I I would get rid of permanently if there was a possibility of doing so without excruciating pain. Well, electrolysis is permanent. I don't know how painful it is. Okay, though. well... But they generally don't do large areas. Uh, well, it's not large it areas. it takes forever. Okay, so so number number one is like, okay, that area of back here that I saw, like, I don't mind that. It's not great. I don't, I don't want it. Ass hair? <laughs> the hair that's actually in the cleft of the bum? Yeah, I hate that. Because that's where, like, little bits get stuck to, and, like, <laughs> oh, it's gross. Nobody wants that. I just want it gone forever, but I'm not sitting on a table with somebody spread my a- my my ass cheeks and just shocking me with a goddamn electrolysis <laughs> or, like, laser so I can permanently remove this hair. If there was some way to do so without, like, 
with minimal pain and minimal embarrassment, I would gladly do it. But I'm not sitting on a table with that. Some kind of like pill that just makes all your hair die. And next time, I will tell you about the other area. Okay. So we'll see you later, guys. We love you. Uh, what is okay? What was say? So yeah, like yeah, you're fat, but it's 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 actually not that much. And um, the fatter you are, the easier it is to burn fat. You know what? Like I, I've been having like okay, so I'm on week five of, of running at this point, and I've like I've run a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm like really cranking up the running. So I'll, I'll put in some numbers here. Uh, this month. Uh, you put out these numbers, and I guarantee people are gonna be like, that, that you call is, that, that's not you a lot of call running. that cranking the numbers, you yeah, pussy well, bitch.